High Performance Athletics, Coach Drew here. This is your virtual workout for the day. All right, so looking a little sweaty here. We just got done working out uh, and we're shooting these videos. So I'm just happy to be sweating on film because we got a chance to work out like around the gym. But today's workout is going to be back squats. We've got an increasing weight. Anytime you see this little dash, it means increase the weight if you can. 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, going up the whole time. So back squat is kind of what we're shooting for there. A couple things to consider if you don't have an increase in weight, you can make this harder by doing it at a tempo. We did tempos a couple weeks ago, but that's a way to make, uh, say that you only have like 135 pounds on the bar and that's all the weight you have, you can stay there, but I want you to control the repetitions each time you do it. All right, after the back squats, we have Angie's rude cousin. All right, so we know all know what Angie is. We've done it before in the gym. We will do that again once we get back. But we're looking at 75 no push-up burpees, so nerpees, 75 sit-ups, 75 air squats, and 75 push-ups. You can partition this how you want. So a good way to do this would be five rounds of 15 of each of those. If you want to scale up this workout, it is all 75 all 75, all 75, and all 75. So super easy, one time through, that is your workout for the day. All right, so Sarah is here with us. She's our Vanna White for today's workout. First off, she's gonna show us back squat. So if you look, go ahead and do five in a row for me, Sarah. As she's doing this back squat, she's got her weight balanced in the middle of her foot, and she's gonna keep her trunk super, super braced and try to keep her chest upright as much as possible. Yeah, there we go, fantastic. I would rather you not squat as deep, but keep that chest upright and your back flat. Fantastic. All right, so Sarah's done with our back squat. She's gonna go ahead and put that bar on the ground, and she's gonna start with no push-up burpees, or nerpees, if you will. So Sarah, I want you to do two um, with a jump and then two without a jump. So hands go on the ground, kick back, come back up, jump at the top. That's our regular no push-up burpee. Look at how she now she'll go without a jump. So now she's coming up. I want you to watch how she stays rigid in the bottom and not letting her hips sag. Fantastic. So you got 75 of those guys, and she's going to show us sit-ups as well. So no ab mat if you don't need one. It's all, all good. She's going to lay all the way back, shoulders on the ground, sitting all the way up. The base of her neck is going to get in front of her hips at the top of that sit-up, just like that. So she's going to do two more gonna show us how to do it, awesome. Last one, good, fantastic. Gonna hop right up, gonna go right to air squats. So she just finished 75 sit-ups. She's gonna go right to air squats. Yeah, beautiful, keeping that chest up. Back stays nice and tight, weight balanced through the middle of the foot. And then last but not least here, we're gonna go to push-ups. Push-ups can be done a couple ways. So you can go on your toes, all the way down, chest touching the ground, fantastic. Or you absolutely can go to your knees for this. The same range of motion applies. I want you guys to watch her do two more and watch how she drops. And look at her elbows staying real close to her sides. They're not scraping her ribs, but it's pretty close. All right, and those are your movements for the workout. Fantastic job, Sarah. Make sure you log your score into SugarWise.